Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time coming by, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you will hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so that you will get a notification every time I upload a video. And for those of you who have been hanging with me all this time, past my big chop and all the good stuff that went on, thank you for hanging in there with me. I hope you will recommend my channel, share my channel with other people, and hopefully people that are pursuing uh, going gray or going natural or whatever can gain some information from me. Perhaps I can gain some from them. If you leave your comments in the comment section below, I would greatly appreciate that. Today, I'm going to take you through my wash routine, which is not really a routine yet because I don't have it nailed down. But I just want to show you a few things that I'm going to be using today uh, and the process that I intend to do today. So just hang in there with me for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so after I have gathered all of my ingredients together, um, I took a uh, teaspoon of my shea butter mixture. Let me just show you that right quick. This is what I mixed up. Um, so this has the consistency of uh, maybe um, smooth peanut butter. And uh, my last mixture was much more fluffier than this, but I kind of like this better because that way... I can add whatever oils I want to add to it and I don't have to worry about it separating on me. So, um, so I have all my oils mixed in here in this little dish. And now you can see that it's kind of like the consistency of mayonnaise now. So I like that because my hair is thin and low density and I don't want it to, uh, you know, be too heavy or whatever. So after I've done that, what I'm going to do is prep my hair. As you can see, it's, I have it in this bun here. And I'm going to prep my hair by spraying it with some vinegar and a water solution that I have right here. This holds about a cup and a half, and I've got about a teaspoon of vinegar in it. So I've got my vinegar solution here. I'm just going to start spraying my hair. Let me put a towel down here. So just, sorry about that. Okay, don't get this in your eyes. <laughs> I'm using this to help clarify my hair. So if you don't want to use a sulfate shampoo, this is a good way to clarify your hair. I do use sulfate shampoos from time to time. This ain't one of those times. <laughs> so I'm doing this today. Okay, so, and I like to rub in, into my scalp just to make sure I have any excess oil or dirt, and also it helps to restore the pH in your scalp and in your hair. So, now look at that. Don't I look like Don Cornelius from the Soul Train? Y'all remember that? Back in the 70s. All righty then. You will notice also if you use this uh, solution that the product will start coming off like right away. It'll start breaking down. So if you have any excess product in your hair, it'll break down as you use this solution. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover my hair with a plastic cap. And I'm going to let this sit here for about 30 minutes and then I will be back. I will wash it out and then I'll come back to you with freshly washed hair. Okay, this is my freshly washed hair dripping wet. Dripping, dripping, dripping wet. So this is what my hair looks like with, whoops, 
I'm going to get electrocuted <laughs> with no product in my hair. So what I noticed, well, you probably can't see it. Let me see if I can get up a little bit closer. That's my curl pattern in the front. So it occurs to me that I have coils in that part. This part of my hair is just mostly frizz. So I don't know what to tell you about that, except gray hair is a lot more uh, rugged, you might say, <laughs> sometimes than the rest of our hair. So I'm not going to wrap the towel around my head because I'm going to take the next step now, which is going to be to deep condition. So I'm just going to pat some of the water out. Some people use a t-shirt. If your hair is very fragile, I would suggest that you do use a t-shirt so that um, you don't pull out, you know, hair or if you have um, patterns or stuff on your towel like this that it doesn't snag your hair if your hair is damaged. Now, I'm going to use a Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask on my hair today. And then I'm going to go under a heating cap. Uh, for a little while, for 30 minutes. And then I'll come back. So I like to start by coating my hair first. And concentrating on my ends before I section my hair. And I have, you know, it's really strange because I have low density, but in the back of my head, it's, it's quite, it's very thick, right in the, in the very center in the back. So I have to use quite a lot. Now, as you can see, as I put this conditioner on here, it's starting to make waves and things in the front. And I don't know what happened to my deep conditioning cap. <laughs> anyway, I have no idea what happened to Oh, it's way across the room. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to section my hair now. and detangle. And I'll be back as soon as I get finished doing this and sitting under the deep uh, conditioning cap for 30 minutes. I'll be right back. So I've already sectioned my hair off and I'm, I've already done the back. What I've done is I've put it in a two strand twist with some gel and I'm using uh, Shea Moisture Str Strengthen and Grow Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. So, oh my gosh, y'all bear with me. I'll get this right one of these days. Okay, here you go. All right, so 
Um, I left my hair very damp, very, very damp. And uh, I put on the leave-in conditioner. And now I'm using my uh, Shea Butter Mixture that I showed you earlier with my uh, Jasmine oil in it and, and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish sectioning off. Uh, this, the parts don't have to be, you know, exact because I'm going to, uh, whenever I take the twist out, I'm going to, probably pick it out anyway so uh, if your parts aren't exact then you don't have to worry about trying to get rid of all those lines so I'm going to put a little bit more of the leave-in conditioner on the ends of my hair and then I follow it up with a little bit of my butter mixture and I rake it through already detangled and everything so now I'm just doing this and as you can see this is not that defined it's just pretty frizzy so and I'm sorry if you hear that noise it's starting to rain and uh, it's making a bunch of noise and then I'm using uh, eco styler gel in the green jar I have just a little bit and I'll put that on each section as I go. I'm not using a Denman brush or anything. I'm just using um, my fingers. I used a wide tooth comb when I was de uh, um, tangling the larger sections. But now that I'm doing the smaller sections, Unless it starts to dry or something, then I won't. Now, if you see, I put the Eco Styler gel on. It's got a little bit more definition, but not much. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and twist that up. I would normally put this in a smaller section, but I'm getting tired. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. Make sure you go all the way to the end. Now, if you divided it and um, and you run out of hair on one side, don't borrow hair. Just twist it on the ends. Just twist it like that. All right. There you go. And I'll go on to the next section. Finally finished. This is the end result. And I'm going to leave it this way uh, probably for three days. Um, I think that's the... <laughs> My husband's shaking and said, no, no, I won't. Yeah, I will. Unless it gets dry. If it gets dry, then, you know, I'll have to do something, right? We got to keep our lots, right? Anyway, thank you for coming with me uh, through this very long day. And um, I hope you like it. I hope you like the way it turned out. Let me turn around and see if I can let you see the back. Nothing special. No uh, exact parting or anything. Because when I take it out, there's so much shrinkage. That uh, when I take it out and divide them and pick it out a little bit, you won't see the parts anyway. So it'd be like, <laughs> you know. So anyhow, this is the end result. Uh, the whole process of twisting it, which I didn't show on camera, but it took me probably about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to twist it all because I don't have a lot of hair. So it didn't take very long at all. And um, the whole process from start to finish was probably a couple hours, two and a half hours or so. So anyway, thank you for coming. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Click the bell next to the subscription button so that you will get an update every time I do one. And uh, if you have any suggestions, if you have questions, uh, make sure that you leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you the next time I come on. All right. Keep it natural.